Hi, everyone, and welcome to our first episode of Rewalk's Topics in Neurorehabilitation webcast. I'm Kathleen O'Donnell. And I'm Jill Butler. And today we're going to talk about some of the background behind why we wanted to create this web series. We'll give you a little background on ourselves and the company, as well as set the stage for some of our upcoming talks that we have planned. So my name is Kathleen O'Donnell. I am not a PT, uh, although I try my best to kind of think and act like one, but my actual backgrounds are in biomedical engineering and industrial design. Um, and I actually started out uh, leading the original team at Harvard that was developing medical exosuits at the Wyss Institute um, back in 2013. We started doing testing with uh, therapists and with stroke patients. Um, and eventually that technology was licensed to rewalk in 2016. And throughout that process, I've been pretty heavily involved in the design and development and clinical testing um, throughout that evolution of the, the exosuit project from kind of conceptualization through commercialization. Um, and throughout this whole process, I really developed a passion for working closely with, with patients and working closely with therapists um, as we kind of continuously evaluated and improved on each design. Uh, so, you know, as we started to transition to more of a commercial product, I actually transitioned to working for Rewalk full time, and I'm now the director of product management and strategy at Rewalk, um, and help to assist again with Restore, kind of carrying it through the FDA clinical trials, um, and then eventually launching the product in 2019 uh, after we received our FDA clearance. So my passion is very much about, you know, exosuits and uh, really trying to improve uh, the way that we deliver neurorehabilitation and the way that we deliver gait training post-stroke. Um, so that's sort of how I got into this field in the first place. Um, and then we'll hear from Jill as well. Thank you, Kathleen. Very inspiring story. I love your story. Um, so my name is Jill Butler. I'm a physical therapist who grew up, went to college, and started my career all in the Boston area. Um, since the very beginning, I have always been interested in helping patients with neurologic diagnoses achieve their highest level of functioning. From my early days on the TBI unit at Braintree Rehab Hospital, all the way up through my outpatient days at Spalding Rehab. I obtained my neurologic clinical specialty in 2017 and joined Rewalk Robotics in 2018 as a clinical training manager. The past two years have been completely amazing as I've been able to help patients and other clinicians on an even broader scale. I uh, was able to play a really big role in the development of the Restore product that we're gonna learn more about. And now I'm looking even forward to expanding that even further with this series. Great, and we're so glad that we have you on our team. <laughs> glad to be here. Uh, so just wanted to give a little bit of background into Rewalk Robotics as a company. Um, we've been around since about 2001, actually, um, helping to develop new medical devices, um, as, as well as, you know, powered solutions that provide gait training and mobility for individuals with lower limb disabilities. Um, and our mission as a company is really, you know, to do whatever we can to, to fundamentally change the quality of life for individuals with lower limb disability uh, through the creation of these, you know, robotic technologies. Uh, so we're going to talk about the two products that we have on the market. And the first one is the Rewalk Exoskeleton. Yes. So if you know us as Rewalk Robotics, you probably are familiar with this, our flagship product, the Rewalk Personal 6.0 Exoskeleton. So the Rewalk Powered Exoskeleton is available for personal ownership. Um, we were the first FDA approved exoskeleton on the market to get individuals using this technology at home. It enables individuals with paraplegia to stand upright again and walk both in the real world, at home, um, wherever they're looking to do their standing and walking activities again. The device uses six joints of function, so both hips, both knees, both ankles are all working to provide users with a more natural gait pattern and is the most widely available and utilized personal exoskeleton in, in the world right now. Great. And our second product is uh, called the Restore Soft Exosuit, which as we mentioned earlier, was launched in the summer of 2019. Um, and so since this is a, a, a newer product um, for us as well as for our viewers, we wanted to spend a little bit more time kind of introducing this product um, to give everyone a little bit more context. So Jill and I actually met because of this project. Um, we met as we were trying to develop the, the soft exosuit. Uh, essentially what it is, is a 
fabric-based exosuit. So it's not gonna give you the structural um, kind of mass that a rigid exoskeleton would. It's fabric-based and it's designed for in-clinic rehabilitation for people with hemiparesis or hemiplegia due to stroke. Um, so it uses these cables uh, which run down the leg and they actually provide um, on-demand mechanical assistance to lift the, the patient's leg during plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. And it does so in synchronized timing with the patient's gait cycle. So the way that works, it looks almost like a kind of a marionette. Um, so you have cables which run down the patient's leg and they attach to uh, two points. They attach on a sleeve on the patient's calf as well as an insole inside the patient's shoe. And when those cables start to pull in synchronized timing with the gait cycle, they're gonna to help to lift the heel up uh, in plantar flexion during paretic propulsion, but then they're also gonna pull on the forefoot to lift the forefoot up in dorsiflexion during ground clearance and heel strike. And this ability to deliver targeted assistance, particularly in the propulsion phase of the gait cycle, is one of the things that is really unique and exciting about Restore because it gives us a new tool to train coordination and timing of plantar flexion in a way that we really haven't been able to do before. And just to show you a couple of videos of what this looks like on patients, we're gonna pull up a couple of videos here. Um, and Jill, if you wanna talk through this one. Sure. Um, so the woman that we're seeing here, she is at an inpatient facility right now, status, pro, status post stroke. It is about her third session with the Restore. And we see her here with the device on, but it is in what we call slack mode which is just what it sounds like in that it is providing her no assistance whatsoever. So this is essentially her baseline walking right now. You can see a lot of trouble with her foot placement for her initial contact. There's really no heel strike happening there. A lot of medial lateral instability. What we're gonna see here as we switch on the device, so now we're in assist mode, the device is gonna be helping to lift her toes and her heel, okay? What that's gonna do for us there is gonna improve the ankle stability and the confidence for that foot placement. Confidence for the patient and for the therapist. We're gonna see the level of assist that's needed is gonna minimize by a lot, you'll see in a minute here. And just improved overall independence um, with the gait quality. Um, you'll see the speed definitely increases because of this newfound confidence as well able to navigate some changes there in terrain, as we can see there, all those little things that we take for granted through the doorway, all that type of stuff, able to do with this device on after just a few visits training. And then this gentleman here, so this first video that we'll look at is his baseline. Okay, so in this video here, we're looking at him, um, he is clearly not getting much of a push off, okay? That's the main thing we wanna focus here. He is letting that leg get into terminal stance a bit. It is getting behind him, but he is essentially just powering that leg up and through, not using any propulsive force on that left side. As a result, the therapists have had a hard time getting his intensity level up to where they want it to be. You can see he's on cardiac monitoring there. Um, this gentleman is inpatient as well, if I didn't say that. Um, and so they're just, they're sort of just cruising along pretty slowly here. He's having a hard time also with his initial contact angle. So the next video that we'll see um, in the next slide here is going to be the same gentleman, same session. And this is his first, his very first time utilizing the Restore, actually. So in assist mode, we see um, not only the obvious heel strike angle improvement there and just consistency, that's something that we consistently see is improved consistency with the foot positioning for patients, which just helps them to um, increase their confidence, their stepping cadence immediately. Um, so his motor control, his timing has improved. And something that we also love to see was also he was able to get his intensity levels up because his speed was able to increase. So his heart rate was able to get up into a safe training zone where he was able to hopefully make some neuroplastic changes just right there within that, within that session. That's great. And it's really exciting to see some of these things as they, as they manifest on patients. And, uh, you know, I think through this whole process of we've gone through the, you know, the, the launch and the, the training with Restore and the clinical trials, um, you know, Jill and I met a lot of really amazing, inspiring therapists um, throughout this process. Um, and so 
when we, we kind of sat down and started figuring out what we wanted to do with this project, we really wanted to create a platform that would highlight some of these amazing speakers and really give a forum to really share their insights with the broader rehab community. Um, and we wanted to do this in a way that uh, we felt would allow viewers to interact with their talks um, more on their own time and at their own speed. So we didn't want it to be something that you had to kind of sign up for and make sure you, you scheduled in your calendar. Um, so as a result, we you know, reached out to a few of these speakers uh, we actually took a crash course in some video editing, and we decided to launch our own web series. Uh, so we're calling it Topics in Neurorehabilitation, uh, with the subtitles of you know, Neuroplasticity, Gait Rehabilitation, and Advanced Technologies. Um, and this is a weekly web series that's going to highlight a different speaker or expert in neurorehabilitation each week. Um, and we're going to you know, share their insights with the community. Um, so the topics are going to be chosen by the speaker themselves each week, and we'll try to cover a broad range of interests. So whether you're a veteran NCS or someone who's just getting started, and likewise, whether you, you already use a lot of advanced technologies in your clinic or you're just curious and starting to think about how they might fit in, we hope that you'll find something here that interests you. Uh, like Kathleen said, it's going to be a new episode every week for as long as we keep the interest up and um, have new speakers and things we want to share with you guys. Um, so to give you a flavor of some of the upcoming topics, we wanted to highlight our first three episodes that we already had ready to go for you guys. First up, we'll hear from Nassim Chadiwala from Emerson Hospital on some of the basic principles of GATE, followed by a two-part series from Matt Gifthorn and Kristen Hole from the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab in Chicago to introduce a framework for integrating exoskeletons and exosuits into clinical practice. We'll also hear from speakers introducing other key concepts in post-stroke gait rehab, highlighting new research findings and discussing principles in neuroplasticity and many more. We hope you find these topics helpful and please feel free to suggest upcoming topics or other speakers by reaching out to us or con on our contact page. You can use the link in the description below. Thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to tune in for our next episode. Have a great week everyone.